Jackson, why you do me so good? Ooh. I'm a food masher. It's what I do. It's how I live. I mash foods. I mash them up. <laughs> Just beating it. <laughs> so on this episode of Food Mashups, we're using the deep fryer. Just a little dibble dabble in there. Ready or not, let's roll that chicken in some red velvet cake crumbs. <laughs> Just repeat. Yahtzee, mommy. In this mashup, you can have your cake and fry it too. Kitties, are you ready for this? <laughs> Sweet breasts. <laughs> Humor. <laughs> it reminds me of the, like being at the fair. <clears throat> it's sweet and salty. Yeah. This is my kind of mashup, baby. Me too, Ethan. <laughs> Red velvet chicken! Chuffy, this is my favorite kind of chicken. But he was a kleptomaniac. <laughs> With this mashup, I feel like I'm walking in hot cotton. Dessert and dinner at once, right? You don't have to feel bad about eating dessert because you're just no. going to dinner. I love it. It is better than Popeye's. This is a crazy mashup. It's delicious. God, chicken, why are you so sexy? Yep. Chuffy, I'm glad that you made this. Now this is a mashup. <laughs> <laughs> that red flavor. Mm. It is sweet and chickeny, isn't it? Red velvet fried chicken story. Oh boy, where do I begin? Reminds me of the time I saw my first chicken wearing a red sweater. I know what you're thinking. No way, Chefy. No way that ever happened. Well, it did. And it happened in Italy. Back when me and my wife were throwing our first Christmas party, a little chicky came in. No, I'm not trying to be misogynistic. It was literally a little chicken came walking in, wearing a red sweater. And I was like, my God, that is the most beautiful chicky I've ever seen in my life. So beautiful that I wanted to grab it, roll it around in red velvet cake, and deep fry it, and just eat it day and night for about seven to eight weeks. So I got to talking to that little chicky, and well, one thing led to another and we popped off that red sweater and rolled her around in some red velvet cake and I did wind up deep frying her. And that's about when my wife walked in and caught me, mid deep fry. She was not happy and neither was I because who likes to get interrupted in the middle of a chicken fry? Not I, says Sheffy, not I at all. I got the divorce papers the next day. Well, kitties, that's the story of Sheffy's seventh divorce. I actually met Usher at a party one time in Hollywood. I told him about my divorce, and it inspired him to write a song called Papers. You might have heard of it. Food mashups. See you next week, kitties. <laughs> Subscribe below.